Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I'm here today to review Oots Artificially Flavored uh, Lobster Chips Kettle Classic or Oots Kettle Classic Artificially Flavored Lobster Chips. And there's a limited edition. You see the lobster right there. Now, some people, I know a couple people asked me a while back if I had a lobster chips. I said no. I mean, the only thing I had seafood related uh, was Utz's, uh crab chips. I don't know if Utz had Old Bay seasoning. I know Harris had Old Bay seasoning. And then they had uh, crab chips and they had uh, crab fried chips too, I believe. Um, and I wasn't planning on getting any more chips because I got sent. I, I have a, plenty of chips and snacks. And I got sent a bunch from Todd. And uh, I wasn't planning on getting any more unless there was something really out there or, you know, something outrageous. And I signed the lobster chips. I have not found these anywhere. And I was just lucky. There was like three bags I found them at Surefine of all places in Albion. But sometimes you can find gems there. They used to sell a chip, uh, brand chip from a place called Martin's a long time ago. I, they still did. I'd probably be doing some reviews on them. And Surefine is... Uh, like, we had more local locations. I remember there used to be a... Well, they used to call it IGA, and then in the 90s, they switched to Surefine. Uh, they had a whole bunch. They had one in Edinburgh Moss, gone, long gone. And then when it switched over to Surefine, they had one in McCain, uh, close where my sister lives, my mom lives. And it closed, and then became like a... Kind of like a Korean run. I don't know, I don't know who ran the grocery store. Maybe them. I can't remember. Then that went out under in a year or two. And that was a vacant building. And I know Fairview had a really nice sure find. And then that closed down and became a family dollar, which really sucked. And there's like three or four family dolls around that area. Gerard and Fairview. It's crazy. Uh, and the only sure find in my area now is... Uh, and that'll be in there. Then I, the Bellows Market's a sure find when I remember... A couple weeks before Dad passed, we I went down there in Erie, and I found that's a sure find too. It's just called Bellows Market. Well, hey, let's go ahead and try these out in the back. But on the back it says, uh, "Great taste of lobster and Utz Kettle Classic potato chips have come together traditionally seasoned, dipped in a succulent butter sauce, and finished with a dash of salt and pepper. Make these chips an authentic experience. You may not be able to enjoy the luxury of lobster every day, but with Utz Kettle Classic lobster potato chips, you can savor that flavor." Anytime on the perfect chip, uh, grab a bag and get snacking. And right here you see a, a sticker. They put a sticker over the ingredients. Maybe they forgot to put something on there. And you see it has dehydrated butter and it says contains no real lobster. And I, I, it says contains no real lobster underneath the sticker. I don't know. They must have forgotten something for the ingredients. And then they had to go back. I, I can't take the sticker off. I wanted to take it off to see what they forgot, but I'm not able to. And price-wise, the suggest retail was three seventy-nine. I paid two ninety-nine for it. And while I was ringing out my one friend, Diane was, you know, doing the ring, and then it came out three seventy-nine. I said, I "I'm sorry, that's it's supposed to be two ninety-nine." And then she rang up it's two ninety-nine. Go and open these up. See how bizarre they are. They just smell like potato chips. I mean, a little bit with a little bit of a weird, fresh uh, sea smell to them. What they look like, I assume that's just the pepper right there. Well, you definitely taste butter and you definitely taste salt. Okay. I'm starting to get a little bit of a fishy taste on these. Very strange. And the aftertaste. Very salty, though. Okay, in the aftertaste, you get a little bit of a fishy taste that kind of tastes like lobster, kind of. Very. A 
lot. Wait, so I'm surprised this is a flavor you get from Japan. But I think I got like the spicy squid and the salmon, salmon and mayo flavor, which were really strange a long time ago. From Lay's, but I mean it's overseas in the Philippines. Um, does this taste like lobster? A little bit on the aftertaste. Usually you get more of a taste of butter and salt. Maybe a little bit of onion powder. This is a very unusual flavor chip. I, I think it tastes good, but it's very odd. I need a little more. You get me a mild lobster taste. You get mostly, like I said, butter and salt and some onion powder on there. Onion powder on there. I like the flavor of chips. Like I said, they're very odd. I could probably give these an eight and a half out of ten for Utz's lobster, uh, Utz's, uh, kettle classic lobster chips. I mean, if you're looking for something unusual, something different, you might like these. I think they're pretty different, but they're, they're just, it's a little bizarre. So I hope you like this video. And until next time, everybody, please check out Me and Be Designed. I have two uh, wonderful t-shirts on there. I'm wearing one of them right now. I think it's fantastic. The material is so soft and very comfortable. I love it. And I'll put the link in the description. I hope you like this video, everyone. And until next time, everybody, please take care of my legion.